Hello. I think we all can level set right now by agreeing that 2020 has been a year that we never would have imagined. 2020 was the year that we all were probably really excited about. December 31st, so many people were thinking about 2020 vision and all of those dreams and goals that we were going to reach, how nothing was going to stop us, how we would see double double and in 2020 and everything was just going to be perfect alignment. We waited for 2020. We were so excited for it to come. And now, as we approach the last few months of the year, I think so many people are ready for 2020 to end. You see, 2020 has been full of so many ups and downs, highs and lows from the global pandemic that we wouldn't have thought about in a million years with now over 200,000 deaths in the United States and over 7 million people impacted. Take that a step further and we think about all of the instances of social injustices and discrimination and hashtag after hashtag as a result of police brutality. Listen here, 2020 has been a year to remember and a year that many of us want to forget. You see, life has a way of giving us those highs and those lows those moments of excitement and those moments of anxiety and depression. I don't know about you all, but I can relate. So let me ask you this. Have you ever had a moment along your journey of life where things are going well, things are going good, you're reaching your dreams, your goals are becoming a reality. Life is good. You are unstoppable. You are relentless along your journey. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hit a roadblock. You hit a roadblock that makes you feel like you will not ever be able to move forward. And then when you get the strength to move forward, you think you're great, uh, you hit a detour. I've dealt with that quite a bit. And I wanna take the next several minutes to talk to you about my roadblocks, my detours along my journey and how I kept moving forward to live my best life. My name is Tiara M. Tucker, and I am the founder and CEO of Tiara Public Relations Network, LLC, and Speak That Movement, which I created to empower, uplift, and connect business professionals like yourself and myself along our journeys of dream and goal realization. And trust me, although I'm smiling now and I can say that I am living my best life, it wasn't always like this. In fact, if you'll just give me a few moments to walk with me along this journey, I'm gonna talk to you about some of the highs that were intermingled with the low moment and how I bounced back. And I hope and I pray that in my story, 
by listening to it, you'll hear something that'll help you continue this journey in 2020. So I recall a time in my life, things were just good. I relocated to Dallas from Illinois, corporate career, just booming and banging, living my life in Dallas. I mean, having a great nightlife, meeting all kinds of amazing people, eating good, hanging out with high profile people and celebrities, just traveling all over the country, enjoying my family, enjoying my friends, just really feeling like Life was amazing. I had an amazing opportunity with my PR firm. I was working with some of the top civil rights attorneys in the country on some of the most high profile and highly media saturated PR cases dealing with police brutality. That was tough because we were dealing with some of the same things that we're talking about right now in 2020. So while life was good, I hit this, this, this spot along my journey and it got very dark, very foreign. It was a roadblock and that roadblock impacted my mental health. You see, I was secretly dealing with anxiety. The anxiety that comes with living your best life, right? Like it was so foreign to me because I didn't know that if you were living your best life and things were great, you know, your your dreams are coming true. Your business is starting to take off on the side. Your corporate career is going great. You're traveling. How? Can you deal with anxiety and mental health and stress? It felt like an oxymoron. And even more, I'm the woman with Speak That Movement that's empowering people to speak things into existence. Go after your dreams. You are unstoppable. Don't let anything stop you. Look at yourself and tell yourself that you're a conqueror. I was empowering people that I knew, people that I didn't know. And you know what? I couldn't even empower myself. You see, there were days where I couldn't even get out of bed. I didn't even know who I was. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to tell anybody. I just kept fighting through it until I got to a point where people were starting to notice. And I didn't feel right. I didn't feel like myself. And I wanted to feel like myself again. You see, I hit that roadblock in life where I didn't think I could keep moving forward. I was stopped. At least so I thought I was. So let me tell you what I did and how I overcame that roadblock that tried to take me down. I want to tell you about four things in particular that I did. And I hope that if you listen carefully, these might be steps that you can use along your journey if you are ever faced with roadblocks or if you're trying to figure out how you're going to make it through 2020 with all that we're dealing with. You see, there were four things in particular, if I were to just sum them up for you. I like to call them how I spoke life over myself. And to break it down, to make it even easier, 
I'm going to focus on the word life. So here is what you can do to come back after a setback or to come back after anything that you're dealing with in life that feels like it has you stopped. Life, L, let go, just let go. Let go of the embarrassment, let go of the stigma attached to what you're feeling. Let go of what other people may think. You see, I had to let go of all of that because I realized that there are millions upon millions of people dealing with mental health issues. And I was one of them. And I know that there's somebody listening right now who is dealing with it too. But see, when I let go, I let go. I let go. I had to say that, you know what? In order to overcome this roadblock, overcome this setback, to live my best life, I have to let it go. And I can't be embarrassed. I can't be ashamed. I have to keep moving forward. I intentionally pause and escape. That's what I had to do. After I let go, I intentionally paused and I had to escape. So for me, I was blessed with the opportunity to take some time off, shut down, and I flew to Denver, Colorado. You see, in Denver, Colorado, I truly was able to release and I was able to get myself back. I was able to reflect, to pause. I was introduced to this concept called mindfulness. I learned what mindfulness meant. Mindfulness means being present, being fully present in the moment, focusing on the now, the right now, observing everything around you and taking it all in. I did mindfulness yoga in Denver, mindfulness hiking, you see, I even got to a point where I hiked a mountain, 11,000 square feet in the, in, the, in the sky. I was able to reflect. I was able to ask myself, what do you want out of this life? What is stopping you? What is in your way? And how are you going to overcome it? And I recognize that everybody can escape to Denver like I did but I would encourage you to escape, escape in your home, escape in your prayer closet, escape in just your neighborhood. Whatever you have to do, intentionally pause to reflect on where you are and to think about how you can renew yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit. And F, focus on you and focus on God. You see, I had to focus on myself. It wasn't about anybody else at that moment. I had to focus on me, my dreams, my goals. What was it in me that was burning? What were my passions? What did I want the next day, the next hour, the next month, the next year to look like? And I had to be very strategic. I had to really dig deep to search for my purpose, to search for my calling. And I had to seek God. I had to seek him. And he answered when I called. E, you have to empower and encourage yourself. You see, when I was in Denver and when I was at home dealing with my anxiety secretly and silently, I didn't really know much about empowering myself. I was empowering other people and I was telling myself that I needed to empower myself, but I really wasn't doing it the way that I needed to. But when I said, you know what, it's time to empower myself. 
And when I empowered myself, I spoke life over myself. And right now, if I don't say anything else to you, if you don't remember anything else that I say, remember the power in speaking life over yourself and your circumstances. You see, I will get in the mirror, mirror like this one, mirror in the bathroom, mirror in the living room, mirror in the car. And I will pull out that mirror and I will speak life to myself. I will tell myself that I'm the head and not the tail. I will tell myself that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I will tell myself that anxiety and stress and depression will not stop me. I will tell myself, you go, girl, you got this. Nothing is going to stop you. I will tell myself, you were born for this. You, you can keep on moving. God's got your back. You're beautiful, my sister. You're handsome, my brother. Everything that you need is inside of you. So dig deep for it. Find it. Search for it. Don't let a roadblock stop you. You have everything in you, Tiara, to keep on moving, to keep on fighting, to keep on empowering other people, to keep on making your dreams come true, to keep on reaching your goals, to keep on living your best life. I continuously speak life over myself. And in 2020, I can't tell you how many times I've had to speak life over myself. When I think about the pandemic, when I think about the social injustices, when I think about another one of my brothers and sisters being murdered, I have to speak life over myself. I have to speak life over the families. I have to speak life over my family. I have to speak life over my circumstances, my dreams, my businesses, and my mind. And I encourage you all to do the same. So as I close, I invite you, if you're able, to join me in one more thing that I had to do and I do every single year to help me finish the year strong and start a new year. I read and recite an affirmation statement that I wrote a couple of years ago. I wrote it to go along with the Speak That Movement empowerment calendars that I've been creating the past few years. So if you can just repeat after me, speak this into the atmosphere. I will not be discouraged to pursue my personal and professional dreams. I will unapologetically dream with no limits because I know my possibilities and opportunities are endless. When God gives me a vision, he will give me provision because he is able I will enjoy this amazing journey called life. Let my light shine and patiently trust the process. When tired and weak, I will believe I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know that death and life are in the power of my tongue which means my words have power. I will speak positively, purposefully, and passionately. I will speak life over myself and my circumstances. My steps are ordered, so I will fearlessly walk by faith, even when I cannot see what lies ahead. I was born to be blessed, and to be a blessing to others. I have just spoken this declaration and affirmation into existence. And in all my ways, I will honor him. 
thank you for repeating that after me and for believing in it and for believing in yourself. So again, my name is Tiara M. Tucker. I am a comeback champion and I wanna help you all become one too. You see, the last part of my story is that I prayed to God that if he allowed me to bounce back from that setback that I experienced, from that dark place, I promised God that I would do everything in my power to empower, encourage, and help other people. So along my journey of bouncing back and becoming even stronger, I'm taking Speak That Movement to the next level. I'm empowering and encouraging even more people. I have a certificate in mindfulness and I now have a certificate in life coaching. And I wanna coach you all if you need it, if you want it. Coach you to living your best life. I am a living and walking testimony that we will experience the highs and lows, but we have to keep fighting back. We have to keep speaking life. So if you're interested in allowing me to be your coach, to just be your, your listening ear, to help you and your business grow and go to the next level, to get out of that low valley and into that high mountain, then I would love to work with you, to partner with you, to walk with you along your journey. For right now, I have a special offer. You can text me at 214-210-21PR. That's 214-210-2177. And text, I am a comeback champion. Again, text, I am a comeback champion to 214-210-21PR. And I will make sure that I respond to you and I will set up a complimentary 30 minute consultation so that we can talk. I will listen to you and I will help you along your journey. I encourage you to dream it, believe it, speak it and walk it. And we will get through 2020 because the best is yet to come. Thank you so much. May God bless you and protect you. Thank you.